we're well, we going to go to Amayana, who's going to ask questions to devoted to Yana. After that, we're going to take an eight-minute intermission break, and we're going to come back to the public Q&A portion of the show where you can finally ask your questions. But let's get this cross-examination going. Amayana, you can ask your questions. All right. Thank you, Sal. Um, in the book of the Revelation, chapter 5, um, verse 7, um, did did the lamb take the book out of the hand of one of him that's sitting on the throne? Yes. Okay. If the lamb took the book of the... Okay, who's the one sitting on the throne? God, Yahuwah. So, who's the lamb? God made flesh and resurrected and ascended into heaven. So, here in heaven, you're saying back in heaven again... You're saying, well, now he's back in heaven. So back in heaven, when he lessened himself, he still lessened himself back in heaven. So in heaven, he still lessened himself, right? According to what you're saying, right? Yes. Simultaneously, so, all at the same time. Right. Okay. So now, so that means that's two beings. That means him lessening himself and him on the throne too, correct? Uh, incorrect. Uh, the passage that you're struggling to interpret, the Corinthians passage, which says the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I believe that's the Spirit of Yahuwah, and the Spirit of Yahuwah is omnipresent, can be anywhere, everywhere at the same time. And I believe that Yahusha shares that Spirit. It is His Spirit as well. Um, Romans chapter 8, uh, verse 9, I believe it's uh, Romans 8, 9, it says, uh, but you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, if indeed the spirit of God dwells in you. But if, no man, if man does not have the spirit of Messiah, he is none of his. So the spirit of Yahuwah is the spirit of Yahusha, which causes them to be omnipresent. That's why the father is able to be on the throne as the father and also able to be grabbing the scroll from his hand as the son all at the same time. And being in the hearts of men and women on earth all at the same time. Okay, when 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 he lessened himself um, as the Messiah of the Lamb, he was flesh and blood, correct? Correct. Now, when he's back in heaven, taking taking the, the 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 scroll out of his hand as the Lamb again, he's also in flesh and blood, correct? I don't know about blood. Uh, I know that. Uh, I don't know what is physical body. I know it's physical, um, but I don't I don't have details for that. I know it's physical. I know Thomas. Uh, touched the, the, the holes that were in his hands, and uh, he bowed down. Thomas bowed down and said, my Lord and my God. And uh, when Yahusha ascended into heaven, I'm not sure if there was some type of transfiguration that happened. I'm not sure. I don't think Scripture gets into that detail. Uh, but he is going to come back as a, as a human being. I believe he's going to come back as a physical human being again. Okay, I'm, I'm just going by your word. Because you said he lessened himself, and, that, and that's when he became human. So you say when he, when he is in heaven... One aspect of him, one aspect of him, is in his lessening form. So that would mean he would be in the flesh, up there, in in the heaven. So the, the the scripture that says, "Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God." How can the lessening part of him, when he became flesh, be up there in heaven, taking the scroll out of his own hand, if flesh and blood cannot go into the kingdom of God? Uh, flesh and blood. Um, the only thing I could think about that is there's got to be a difference between the flesh and blood here on this earth and the flesh and blood that we will get after the resurrection. I don't know how else to understand that passage. Okay. And uh, in the book of Romans chapter 7, verse 4, I want to read it and I'm going to ask my question. It says, Wherefore, my brethren, ye also are become dead to the law by the body uh, of Christ that ye should be married to another. So my question is, who is the first person here that Israel uh, was, 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 was the people he's speaking to here? Who, who were they married to before that he's saying that now that you should be married to another, and who is the another? Well, according to Deuteronomy chapter 24, verse 1 to 4, gives us a scenario about uh, a woman who got married multiple times. Um, and it talks about how the first husband that she married, um, she can't come back to that first husband after she has been married a second time. 
So I would I would believe that the Romans chapter seven verse uh, verse four here, this context of this chapter seven, is really about the husband Yahuwah dying, uh, being the initial first husband, regardless of what husband she married after that divorce uh, took place. The fact that the husband dies makes that marriage that first marriage covenant null and void. Okay, and the second who, person, the second person that she's marrying is Yahuwah, uh, who became flesh, uh, Emmanuel, God with us, um, and uh, died and resurrected from the grave and ascended into heaven. So it's still God through Yahusha HaMashiach. It's not a different deity that's not Yahuwah. Okay, my, my brief rebuttal is that he doesn't know Greek. This English word, another, this Greek word, uh, H-E-T-E-R-O-S, Heterios is another of a different kind. It's what it's talking about. Okay? It's someone different, not the same one. That's Greek. All right? From there, my next question, uh, Christ says that he is not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. My question, can you send yourself? If you're Yahuwah, you can absolutely send yourself. And, yeah, I could send myself too. I don't see why not. I don't know why you said that's not possible. Okay. I, I, for the listening audience, once you hear this stuff for yourself, um, Psalms 110. In Psalms 110, it speaks of the, the Messiah there um, being a priest forever. Um, who is he a priest to forever? To God. The man, Yahushua HaMashiach, is a, is a priest to God. I thought so. He, he's a priest to himself. Yahuwah became man, so that means he robbed himself of a lot of what he originally is. So by default, he's going to be lesser than himself, and he's going to be the mediator between humans and Yahuwah Almighty. So yeah, but because they share the same spirit again, which is something you struggle to understand. Uh, because they share the same spirit, it's still, it's still Yahuwah. It's not a different deity that became man. It's Yahuwah that became man. So okay, Yahuwah so as the so Yahuwah as the heavenly Father, as the as the Almighty God, he's still in that position. And you have the mediator, uh, Yahusha Hamashiach, as a priest in the order of Melchizedek, um, all at the same time. Okay, so you're you're so I just want to be clear. So you're saying that he's a priest to himself, yes or no? Yes. Okay. Next question here, Saint John chapter twenty. I want to read verse seventeen again. I'm ask my question. Uh, Jesus saith unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my Father. But go uh, to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend uh, unto my Father and your Father and to my God. And your God, here Christ. Okay, here here Christ is calling is uh calling the disciples his brethren. Okay, and you saying that uh, Christ is God, so is the disciples the brothers of God? I said Yahuwah became flesh. He became a human being. So by becoming flesh, by becoming a son of man you become a brother of other sons of men. Okay, so now, so here, so, but, but you saying that how he ascended back up, but he's still, he's still in his lesson form, you're saying, up there. He's, he's in lesson form, and he's at the same time on the throne. So I'm speaking of now he's back up there in the heavens, and then you're saying that it's the same being, so it is, it is, it is, Logical to assume then even when he when he lessened himself, according to you, he is still in his lesson form up there. Part of him is. Part of him there still is in lesson form, and part is still sitting on the throne. So I'm speaking of him being the same God because you deal with this oneness, then that would mean, even though he lessened himself, it would still mean that the disciples are his brothers because he has not changed back into his original form, he is still up there in his lesson form. So with that explanation there, um, is, it, is it feasible to say then, with him not changing back to his original form, that he, that the disciples are his brothers? 
uh, if your question is, is he still his brothers? Uh, is ya- is Yahusha the Messiah the brothers of the disciples currently right now? My answer would be yes, he is. Okay, all right. So uh, my last question, because I heard the bell, did uh, Yahusha created the disciples? Yes, he is the uh, root and the offspring of David. So he's not only coming from the offspring of David, he actually created David. Don't touch that dial. You're now listening to the Bay Talk Radio.